Now, what do we do when we have a question? Here's a question, do I eat beets? And we have this do insertion, which was referred to in the chapter, to make it into a question, okay? So we have I, which is a pronoun, eat, which is the verb, beets is the, sub, is the object of the verb eat. And we have this do insertion to make it a question. So, let's take our total phrase. And what we have is an auxiliary do, noun phrase, which is the pronoun I, verb phrase, I'm ignoring tense, which is the verb eat, and the noun beets. Do I eat beets? Okay. Now, if the question was, will I eat beets, or should I eat beets, it would be the same situation. Will I eat beets as the auxiliary verb, or should I eat beets, should being the auxiliary verb. Okay, so this sentence has a couple of new things in it that um, it has a verb form we haven't looked at yet, which is um, the verb did not try. And then we also have this group of words to eat anything and to eat is actually an infinitive, which is a verb to plus a verb that acts like a noun. Okay, so we're gonna start out diagramming with total phrase. It's one total phrase, this is not two sentences. And we have the noun phrase, real simple, determiner, noun, the child. Okay, now, the new stuff is gonna come in here. Let's go ahead and add in our tense. Did is past tense of to do. So it's plus past. Okay, and now we have a negative term, not. And we have a verb phrase, which is actually an auxiliary do plus the verb try. Okay, so we have did, past tense, did not try. And the object, what was it that he tried, was to eat anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and label it as an infinitive verb phrase, and we have to, and then we have verb phrase with a verb and a noun, which is verb, and a noun, which is eat anything. So an infinitive verb phrase, to eat anything. And it actually acts like a noun. If you wanted to, you could probably stem noun it. It's acting like a noun and it consists of an infinitive verb phrase. To eat anything. The child did not try to eat anything. Here we have a compound sentence. The first sentence is, my name is Connie. The second sentence is, I will be your professor for this class. And what joins them is a conjunction and. Two complete sentences joined by a conjunction. 
So we take the first one, my name is Connie, and we map it out, total phrase. We have a noun phrase, my name, that's a determiner, my, and the noun name. The verb phrase of that sentence is, is Connie. So let's mark the tense. Let's minus past because is is present. And then we have our verb phrase, which is the verb is and the noun con. Now we move to the second of the two total phrases, which is the I will be your professor for this class. The conjunction and goes in the middle, since that's the place that it has in the sentence. Okay, total phrase. I'm going to put it at approximately the same level. We have the noun phrase, which is just the pronoun, I. And then we have, will be your professor for this class. So we mark the tense. Mine is past, and the verb phrase in this case will be, that's an auxiliary verb, will, and the other verb is be. Now we ask ourselves, what are we going to be? So we need a noun phrase to make the object of the verb will be and we have your professor for this class. We have the noun phrase, your professor, and then we have a prepositional phrase for this class. Or if you want to break the prepositional phrase down, we have the preposition for and the noun phrase, this class. This is the determiner, class is the noun. Here's another example. I like phonology, but you prefer syntax. We have two complete sentences joined with a conjunction. So we have sentence, which is a noun phrase, verb phrase. I'm ignoring tense for this example. And we have a pronoun, I. And we have the verb phrase, which is the verb. And the noun, like phonology. We have the conjunction, but, and then we have another total phrase, noun phrase, verb phrase. This is the pronoun, you, and this is the verb, noun of prefer. Syntax. I like phonology, but you prefer syntax. Total phrase, conjunction, total phrase. Okay, so here we have a complex sentence. She said that class is dismissed, right? We have this embedded sentence, class is dismissed, and that class is dismissed is acting like the object answering what did she say. So we have a total phrase with a simple noun phrase or pronoun, she, okay. And let's go ahead and mark our tense. This plus path. And we have a verb phrase. The verb is to say, past tense, said. And now we have this new part. That class is dismissed. And we're going to treat that like a sentence. Okay? So what we have here 
is another total phrase with a complement. That's a new phrase. This word that is a complement. And then we have noun phrase, verb phrase. This is the noun class. And we have the auxiliary verb is and the verb dismissed. Here's another one. The computer said that a fatal error occurred. It's a complex sentence because it's got a sentence within a sentence. The embedded sentence is that a fatal error occurred and it's answering the question, what was said? What did the computer say? Our complement is again the word that. So we start with a total phrase consisting of the noun phrase, the computer, and a verb phrase said that a fatal error occurred. So noun phrase, verb phrase. And the noun phrase is the determiner and the noun, the computer. I'm going to ignore tense on this and just mark the verb phrase as the verb said and then the thing that was said that a fatal error occurred is actually going to be another total phrase. So we take some room here and mark total phrase. Remember the word that acts as a complement. So there's that, which leaves a fatal error occurred. Noun phrase, verb phrase, and we have the determiner A, an adjective that describes error, the noun, and the verb is occurred. So we have the computer said that an error occurred. So now we have some more complex sentences. We have a basic sentence that CNN said something. What did they say? That Trump said, and what did Trump say? He will win. So this is a sentence, he will win. Inside the sentence that Trump said he will win, inside the sentence CNN said. I'm going to try and use these colors to help you see the relationship between these sentences. So we have a total phrase, noun phrase, noun, CNN verb said. It's a verb phrase because he actually said something. Okay. That Trump said he will win. I'm going to treat that as another total phrase. It's got a complement that And then we have the noun phrase, the noun Trump. And the verb phrase, the verb said. And the object of that verb is another total phrase. With the noun phrase, the pronoun he, and the verb phrase, which is the auxiliary, will, and the verb, win. CNN said all of this, that Trump said he will win, okay? Trump said all of this, he will win. If we go back to the colors, this is all purple, it's the whole sentence, he will win is this total phrase.
that Trump said he will win is this total phrase. Okay, let's take a look at this question. If it rains twice, will the drought in California end forever? This part at the beginning, if it rains twice, is an embedded sentence. Okay, so the, it rains twice, that's subject, verb, adverb, and the if is the complement. Will the drought in California end forever is our basic sentence. We have that will insertion to make the drought in California will end forever turn into the question will. And there's our subject, the drought in California. Our predicate is will end forever. Forever is another adverb. These are both adverbs of time, twice and forever. So let's set up our total phrase. If it rains twice is a condition. That means that it is an adverb phrase. We have the adverb if and the total phrase with the noun phrase, pronoun, it. Verb phrase is a verb and an adverb. Rains twice. If it rains twice, and now we go to the rest of our sentence, which is a question, will the drought in California end forever? We have the auxiliary, will. Noun phrase is the determiner the, the noun phrase which goes to the noun, drought, and the prepositional phrase in California. And the verb phrase, which is the verb, and the adverb and forever. If it rains twice, will the drought in California end forever? Okay, so here we have the question, will you force me to eat beets? And we have to ask ourselves, well, what's the subject of this question? Who is doing the forcing? And it's you, okay? So we have this total phrase going on. It's a question, so we have that auxiliary insertion, will. The noun phrase is the pronoun, you. I'm ignoring tense again, just for the sake of uh, cleanliness. Okay, and we have this verb, force. And what's being forced is a total phrase. The noun phrase is a pronoun, me. The verb phrase The verb is to eat, noun 